Good morning, YouTube. Ty Metal Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So this afternoon, I'm not going to be available, so I'm getting this morning video going. And I'm noticing a few changes, especially after looking at the most recent model updates here. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. But in the meantime, hopefully you guys have been doing well. Make sure you're hitting that like button, by the way, as well as hitting that subscribe button and that share button as well. Notification bell included. So in recent time, weather's been pretty quiet. We've been enjoying it. There's a marginal risk of severe weather, nothing to really be concerned with. The main threat for today is just maybe a little bit of wind. And really the hail threat is the uh, talking point of all this, but it's only a 5%. Still could get hail, but I wouldn't expect anything of major significance. It's really much further down the line where things kind of get interesting. So we go to the day four through eight outlook. It's really not till the very end, like towards seven and eight, where we get the predictability to low tax. This is indicative of a pattern change, and this is something that I can indeed confirm. So by looking at the jet stream at 500 millibars, this is right around airliner cruising altitude here. You can see that right now, pattern's pretty stable, a little bit of troughing going on, but it's rather minute. But it's really not till we get towards the very end of the month here where we start to see a more notable trough. This is a pretty weak trough here that goes through. Then right after that, this is where things start to get interesting here. I'm a little bit uncertain about how this pans out here. It could be more, uh, more Western High Plains magic here, maybe over towards New Mexico and parts of Colorado. This is heading into November 1st, the evening of November 1st could have a secondary day over over towards maybe nebraska and maybe parts of south dakota before all said and done with this this quickly moves out and then right after that here's something else that's kind of caught my eye here well obviously we're 282 hours out and i don't like to look into this too heavily but that is a very strong system right there it looks tropical in nature so that's something we'll have to keep an eye on we don't want this to hit we don't want the scenario to come into play at all but it's something i'm going to keep an eye on then watch what happens behind this too we have a pretty big trough ejection it looks like kicks that storm out and then this might also have the potential to produce severe weather towards the gulf coast this would be on november 7th and maybe even towards the 8th which will be my 30th right there so keeping an eye on that and then from that point it looks like the weather pattern really starts to pick up for november we kind of called this a little while back here obviously we're going to be having to look at other parameters here. Like we have the dew point on the main screen here and towards the bottom left corner, we're going to be looking at the temperature outlook. You can see that right now there's not much in the way of moisture return, but as time goes on here, and this is even ending tonight, we have the small little pocket at 60 degree temps. The kinematics were better for today, and there might have been a 2% tornado threat. There still may yet be, so don't rule that out. But like I said, it's really towards the first and the second, towards the first and beyond that we're looking for in regards to severe weather events. So you can already see out ahead of that feature that we'll be watching that there's a decent moisture return. It's a little bit further off to the east here, but it really starts to ramp up as we get towards maybe the maybe the first heading into the second around. I'd say Nebraska and Kansas here. If that moisture return uh, gets a little bit better improves then we might have a we might have a little something to work with there but i think with the other parameters in play it might just be enough it could be even a cold core event interestingly might not be your uh, typical severe weather event which is pretty common actually during this time of year so as we go further along here the moisture return actually gets better towards the southeast as we go forward here so as we get towards the seventh what we're looking for are those 60 degree temperatures so we're right where we need to be and if we take a look at our dew point our temperatures and combine that along with the dew points here i'm just going to rewind that back just a little bit towards the first what you'll come to find is we've got a little warm sector beginning to develop right there so like i said i think storm initiates is going to be somewhere around kansas maybe southern nebraska wouldn't rule out northern nebraska it really just depends on where that low pressure ends up setting up because that's going to be pretty much our trigger, our starting point, so to speak. Then as we look over towards the 7th, which is when things become a little bit more significant, right around Mississippi, all the way up towards the Gulf Coast, we have some very warm temperatures here. We're getting into the uh, mid-70s here. Some places even trying to sneak into the 80s around Louisiana here towards the Gulf Coast. So again, I'm really thinking that things are about to pick up for the month of November. So... 
a couple more things we'll look at before all set and done here is of course our instability now obviously I prefer to look at this whenever I'm in range of the convective models GFS sometimes does a good job with this but you know the more models that I'm able to look at the better so looking at today's severe weather setup this is I think a big inhibiting factor is just lack of instability and forcing but as we go further along here this is when we get towards the seventh we have like just the tiniest signal here but nonetheless i do think there's something possible here as of right now obviously we're 354 hours out a lot of room for change this could be pretty benign but we'll have to see how that pans out so stay tuned for future videos on the tropics stay tuned for severe weather videos we'll have it all so that being said i hope you guys have a good rest of your day this is just a little short video for you all like I said, these next 96 hours are going to be very busy for me. I'm going to be going a lot of different places in a short amount of time. So wish me luck on that. But until then, you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I will hopefully see you Sunday.